Howdy, howdy, viewers. Welcome back as we head into part 7 of Let's Play Super Return of the Jedi. This is Acid Roots. Uh, we're gonna finish up most of these Endor stages. Yeah, most of them. There's still one more that the, the Rebels have to do, but Luke has his journey that he's going on. Shit. And if you notice right there, that's actually an AT-80. So it's kind of it's funny. I mean, really, most of the time when people think of those, they think of like Empire Strikes Back, but they were actually in Return of the Jedi. It's kind of a slick little extra thing to know. <laughs> it's kind of like screw it, but yeah. I mean, this is a really like I mean the manifesto that went into this. These couple of this stage in particular is good just because you see the Death Star in the background you see the shield generator in the background you got the AT-ATs Luke's lightsaber gleams I mean it, it, it's good stuff here Star Wars fans the, that was a good thing but still I mean despite all the the somewhat fun I'm having, I still can't give this game much higher than an 8. You know, if I were to kind of combine this into like a miniature review, I'd have to say, I don't know, I mean, there's just a certain cheapness about this game that continues to piss me off, and I really don't enjoy too many of the stages that are the Endor ones. I really didn't like the Wicket stages, and I don't really like the next stage that you're going to see soon enough in Part 8. So... Some of them shits are just meh. And by the way, if you're hoping for that death that I was talking about, the cheap of cheap deaths, it's not in this episode, so it's coming. But, but yeah, I mean, I have fun with this, but it's kind of like a love-hate relationship, and most of the time the hate part wins. That's how it goes. But... It's fun enough to warrant a playthrough, especially since I haven't messed with this game in about five years. So the idea, the nature of this is to climb. So really, we're only going to see about two stages, but we need to climb to the top and uh, get that going. Kind of weird that they even threw this part in the stage, you know. Stop. Otta. So this is on easy difficulty because I figured and I, I didn't see so much of the stage being a problem, but I kind of figured that like uh, the boss is gonna give me trouble, so I just said screw it. So. But you actually fight the shuttle, and that's pretty dope, you know. The shuttles are slick, you know, I mean, those are well-designed aircraft, you know. We should actually be making those, that's kind of the situation. I mean, we have rocket ships, but George Lucas designs better rocket ships than NASA and shit. I'm like, what the fuck? I'd like to fly to the moon in a fucking one of those things. And obviously, we may not have the technology, but it's like, come on, you know? Elon Musk, uh, one of them dudes, Mark Cuban, I think that's his name, they need to come up with, like, one of them shits. I keep thinking there's like an elevator in the stage, but there isn't. So the whole damn thing is you have to take those platforms up. It's kind of pissing me off because there's only one way to do it. So, I mean, I, you don't see the duress that this caused, but it, it was annoying me. Up we go, up into the catacombs. Still, it feels like I'm going the wrong way, I'm trying to think of. Huh. So come get lost with me, basically. 
gotta suck running with a lightsaber though. You can chop off your hand or some shit like that. But damn it. <laughs> that mellow about that happening too. Just damn it. Kind of thinking in real time as I'm doing this playthrough because I keep thinking. It, it, it's funny that the hardest difficulty in this game is referred to as Jedi because, you know, Jedi are seen as badass and stuff. It's kind of like, the thing about a Jedi is they're basically superhuman or whatever. Su yeah, superhuman. So, kind of the thing. It's a fitting title to be labeled superhuman if you can beat this game on the hardest difficulty. But I was just trying to think of like some superhuman things that Jedi did in, uh, in the, the movies. The only real movie I've watched in the Star Wars series in recent years is just The Phantom Menace. I, I, I like the video game of that, so I mess with like uh, the movie, but I don't really watch Attack of the Clones or Revenge of the Sith. Probably, sh I, I do actually like Attack of the Clones. That's a funny movie, but uh, I don't know. I don't really like Revenge of the Sith that much. I don't know. I mean, they're all, they're all, they're Star Wars, of course, but you know, this is funny how the way things are changing my taste in movies, how it's starting to go and shit. And that just fucked me over. Feel my pain. All the way back down to the ground. At least you don't die. I guess I did. But you don't fall to your death, I man. That's one thing about. Well, I guess I can't even say that. No. Yeah, I just said screw it. I just figured to die rather than have to climb all the way back up. It was just easier. So. There are those shuttles again. I think that's what they're actually called to. I mean. You know, I saw on YouTube when I was looking up popular search words for this game, and you know, it talked about the Super Star Destroyer. I saw, I didn't see hiding her hair of that in this game, so I don't know what. And I remember the Super Star Destroyer, that was the one that Vader was always on. So, I mean, I don't know why. I mean, that, that's not in this game, so I don't know why they would have searched for it. Weird. I don't think it would be in the Game Boy version. It would be kind of weird for it to be in the Game Gear version, the Sega Game Gear version, so I don't know where that came from. First mention of Lando Calrissian. This stage pissed me off. I think you're seeing a recurring theme here, but yeah. Got a burp coming. Of course, all I had was macaroni and cheese. So it was good. Whatever. So obviously the thing about it is, is there's no real radar. You have to just be constantly spinning in a circle to figure out where they're shooting you from. I think the funny thing is, is you can actually use shields to block some of those, but I just didn't. That's kind of the main thing. Now I don't know if you can get like shield power ups, but it, 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 it implicates that you're supposed to do that. But I mean, obviously, if you do not shoot these tie fighters before they shoot you, uh, you know it's bad news. And obviously, since there's like I think it's 18 or 20 of them, I don't remember how many there were, but yeah. So. Yeah, I, I was just being a doofus. 
guess I didn't fuck around with the shields I probably should have. I mean, the health on this ship is just so meager. I would have thought that it would have had a longer health bar. I mean, they're kind of being cheap with it, but, you know. I like the Millennium Falcon Sage and Empire Strikes Back better. That one's more fitting. Oh, shit, I beat it, though. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that, I thought I was gonna die. You get the idea. This is the worst stage in the game. This is the stage where I have the cheap death, pisses me off, probably is the most rage inducing stage of the entire game. Hated this stage. But alright, so subscribe for more fun. Stay tuned. Yeah.